The voice. I can't hear the voice anymore. <laughs> Is somebody there? Hey, who are you? Miraculous catch was a trap. Leviathan wanted to be found. To our fallen crew members, they have given their lives for a greater purpose. The last name added is that of Charles Hawkins. I'm willing to bet that they killed all the survivors of the Miraculous Catch. It will soon be time, Edward Pierce. You are dead. None of this is real. I saw you dead, as I see you now. Am I crazy, too? You survived. Don't you understand? You couldn't die. You will stay alive until you fulfilled your destiny. No! Look at me. Look at me, Pierce. Dare tell me that you still don't believe it. What has happened to you? Oh, Pierce. You insist on ignoring the truth when it's right there in front of you. Sarah Hawkins saw you as you really are. This painting is the proof. This is madness. It's not just your life that is at stake. Many men and women have sacrificed themselves for this moment. Hold them. You will not deprive them of their hope of a better life. I saw what Leviathan did to Fulham. We will all die like him. His life was written well before it started. It was not to see the call. But you? Yes. It is your destiny. This painting. The investigation. I understand now. Like you, I was called here by a higher power. Yes. All your choices had the sole purpose of preparing you for the final decision. I must make a choice. Not just make a choice. The right choice. Not yet, but soon. We have one more thing to accomplish. What 
is it? I must take you to Sarah Hawkins, our Oracle. Sarah, I feel her calling me. Let us not wait any longer. Not yet. You have one last thing to accomplish. No. Please. I can't do it. Do you understand what it is? She has already fulfilled her mission. Worry about your own. No. No. No one can fight their fate. Neither them, nor you. Resist, Edward. They're already dead. There's nothing you can do. Just give in. What happened to me? Sarah. is the Oracle. She will know what to do. It always comes back to the Scylla. It was where it all began. Destiny will guide me out of these caves. She would only have slowed me down. Conclusions? Is there not the tiniest spark of a scientific mind inside of that detective skull of yours? What abject substance did you use to turn her into an empty shell? Abject substance? The serum extracted from Leviathan's oil bestows the power of life. To me, my body is nothing but the mortal vessel of my conscience. To you, it contains more answers and secrets than your insignificant mind.
That is not you. Not anymore. Not since your disappearance on the docks. Ah, detective. So easy to fool you. So eager to rush to the rescue of a woman in distress. You won't make me regret having tried to save people. I did what I could. Even for Colden. Your efforts to change your destiny, although in vain, make you worthy of the fate that is yours. The day has come. You will be asked to choose. took your right to a normal life. The moment you chose power, no one wants to see such an unbearable sight. You don't have the slightest idea of what you speak, of what I've been through. I have sacrificed my life to the one who sleeps. My marriage, my family, my own flesh. Why didn't Sarah choose me? Why is it your damn face on her painting? But you already know it. I can see that you will make the right choice. I don't know. I don't know! So, you've decided to shut your eyes. Find refuge in denial like a spooked child. You've lost your mind. And to think mankind's future is on your shoulders. None of this is real. Trust your guts. If nothing's real, what are you? I am a projection of your mind. What remains of that instinct that pulled you out of the trenches? You rejected her half-truths. Seeker. She was waiting for you. You were waiting for me. Yes. When I finally discovered the truth, I knew you would come. All this time I was fighting it, afraid of what I might discover. But I was afraid of myself. It's coming. What did you learn? <laughs> Listen to me, Edward Pierce, as I will deliver the truth. I have seen things, and horrifying, but always true. Will you trust my words? Yes. One man, 
one man only prepared by the trials and revelations, holds the power to change the world. Because I saw you in the dreams I share with my God. I recognize you for what you are, a truth seeker, one of the rare humans who is able to perceive fragments of his mind. Yes, yes. I feel the truth in your words. Because it was written, or, as I like to see it, painted on the canvas of fate. Pierce, help me!
press against the wall It tried a stain Reflection of what I am I fell today Headlong onto the floor Here is where I'll stay Think of you as my bones man can I'm just a man though a phantom is what they say but if I truly were I'd walk through walls for you alone today no one to call my friend no one to stay no one to help me send the shadows home Knock the spiders down No one to say Oh, how could I live without you? I'm just a man Though a phantom is what they say But if I truly were I'd walk through walls for you I'm just a man Though a phantom is what they say I truly were, I'd walk through walls for you.